Tag auch, hier ist Marius aus Hamburg. It's been ages since I made the last Top 10 video. You can still vote there at the poll which Top 10 video I should create next. Meanwhile, here are 10 tips to improve your speakers. Many of them will be featured in my videos. If they already are, you'll see it at the info icon in the corner of the screen or in the description below. Number 10. Replacement of damaged or broken parts is of course the first thing to do if necessary. Most speakers can easily be repaired. Don't throw them away. You can, for example, buy spare surrounds or replace whole drivers or blown capacitors. To get an even better result, you can combine this tip at least with tip number 5, number 3 and or number 1. Number 9. Exchange base reflex port with one with rounded edges. This is a really easy and cheap tip. You only have to ensure that you don't change the diameter and the length of the port. The diameter at the narrowest point counts. You can also recalculate the length of the port with this formula in which D1 and L1 are the diameter and length of the old port and D2 and L2 are the values for the new port. Whether you use inches, millimeters or centimeters is not important if you use the same unit everywhere. You can combine two identical ports cut to the same length to one with adhesive tape. Number 8. Silence the enclosures by adding struts and or mass inside onto the cabinet walls. Pay attention that you don't reduce the volume too much, not more than about 5%. As additional mass, thick self-adhesive bitumen foil is for example a good and easy choice for later addition. To get an even better result, you can combine this tip at least with tip number 9, number 7 or number 6. Number 7. Build beautiful enclosures from solid wood. That of course looks great, but doesn't improve sound quality. It might even go into the other direction. Number 6. Build beautiful enclosures from solid stone or concrete. That not only looks marvelous, it even improves sound quality. The heavier, the more. Unfortunately, this is not an easy task. Number 5. Exchange crossover components with higher quality ones and position the crossover network in a box outside the box. Any electrical part is sensitive to vibration. This effect is called microphonics. Film capacitors, the higher the rated voltage the better, coils with baked wire treatment or made from copper foil and metal oxide resistors are less sensitive to microphonics. To get an even better result you can combine this tip at least with tip number 4, number 3 and or number 2. Number 4. Exchange cables and terminals with higher quality ones. Soldering the new cable directly onto the terminal stud is even the best option with fewest possible transitions between different materials. Using better cables only makes a noticeable difference if you use high quality drivers and crossover parts, as the German DIY loudspeaker magazine Hobby Hi-Fi already discovered in issue 4. 2001. Number 3. Design a better crossover network. This is surely a big heap of work which even some speaker manufacturers refuse to perform to cut costs. A speaker that sounds okay is enough for many of them. To get an even better result you can combine this tip at least with tip number 5, number 2 and or number 1. Number 2. Adjust crossovers to each speaker individually. This takes the previous tip even to a higher level. The cheaper the drivers are, the bigger are the tolerances in production. Tolerances might even be 10%. But if your two stereo speakers have a difference of one decibel or less, the stereo image will be much more stable and clear. 
Sure, to achieve this, you can select drivers and combine pairs with minimal differences or buy drivers from Scanspeak, Sears or other high quality brands. But if you want to use drivers you already have, individual crossovers are the best choice. This can still be combined at least with tip number 5 and or number 1. And finally, tip number 1. Exchange drivers with higher quality ones and design a new suitable crossover network. This can have any outcome you want and are willing to pay for. Even high-end brands like Scanspeak have cost-effective drivers like a RIN radiator for 50 euros or a glass fiber cone midwoofer for 70 euros. And you really can go for it and use one of the beryllium dome tweeters that range from 230 to 510 euros or an ultimate paper cone midwoofer for 240 euros. To get the best possible result, you can combine this tip with number 9, 8, 6, 5, 4 and 2, depending on what parts of your old speakers have the best quality, your skills and what tools and possibilities your workshop has. The least effort would be to select a kit that fits your enclosure from a reliable source. Thank you for watching.